What's up you guys and welcome back to another episode of Sandra Jessica Chavez channel. I am an interior designer here in Illinois and today, y'all, I'm going to talk about the five furniture pieces that you should invest your money in and then the five that you don't necessarily have to spend so much money in, you can save money there. <laughs> so before I get started with the video, I just want to put a little disclaimer and just like a little advice tip buy the best quality that you can afford don't go broke trying to spend all this money and splurging on furniture that you can't afford this is just like a good reason why hiring a designer is always a good idea because you get the best bang out of your buck because we will do that research to find you the best quality that you can afford all right so let's get started with the video <laughs> So number one on my list, everybody needs a good sofa. This piece definitely needs to stand up to all the wear and tear because you are going to have guests over, well, not currently at the time. Family sits on it, you sit to watch TV, um, you basically use it every day. So here are some tips when you are going to buy a sofa. Number one, look at the quality of the fabric. There are some stores where you can look online and select your own fabric. Um, and let me tell you the best one that I have found so far. It goes by the name Sumbrella. Now this material is used for outdoor furniture so you can Take a good guess of how durable and resistant to wear this material will be. I would say, you know, it's the best if you have kids, dogs, um, a lot of people over. My second tip is pick a neutral color. That way, when you move, you can take it to your other house and it will still go with all, any new furniture that you bring in because it will go with any style. You know, your, your taste kind of changes over, you know, the years. So having a neutral one, you can just style it however you want. Another thing to kind of go with the neutral color is make sure that you get one that doesn't have any crazy patterns in it. Having a little texture is fine but just don't get you know a sofa that is flamingo pattern unless you know you're gonna keep it for a really long time <laughs> my third tip of advice is make sure that the sofa fits the home direction and scale don't go buying a sectional that is enormous and it doesn't fit in your living room you may think it does but it doesn't um, and also don't get a really small sofa for a big living room or family room. You wanna make sure that the sofa is proportional to the room. Um, also, you wanna double, triple, quadruple check the scales and dimensions of the sofa and the living room. My fourth tip of advice is make sure you get one that fits your comfort needs and is nice and cozy for you. Now, I know that this might be a challenge for some people because if you shop online and they don't offer a store for you to go and test the sofa, then I know that there are some furniture stores that allow you to have a 30-day trial. So you can order it, get it arrived, and you can sit on it, test on it, see how you feel, and if you like it, keep it. And if you don't, you can always return it back. Now, if you are going to the stores and you're looking for furniture, obviously sit on it and see how it feels for you. And then one last thing for the sofa is if you are getting a sectional, make sure to get one that is reversible. That way, you know, if you change homes or apartments, whatever the, the chase lounge is at, you can flip it to the other side to fit however the layout you need to. The second piece of furniture that I recommend investing in is a good dining table. Like a sofa, you know, you use this every day. You'll be doing most of your entertainment on there, right? So why not get one that is functional and stylish and fits your needs? One tip of advice for that is maybe get an extendable table if you think that you're going to grow families or if you're always going to have people over and parties. Um, that way you can put the leaf in the middle and extend the table and when you don't have any parties or you know, you're just a small family, take that leaf out and just you know, go back to its compact size. Now make sure that that extendable dining table will fit in your dining room. Now, if you don't want to invest in a good dining table, I would recommend spending good investment on dining chairs then. Um, again, like a sofa, make sure to check the quality of the chair and that it will withstand to people spilling on it and kids and dogs and all that stuff. But if you know that you are just, you know, a couple of two, then, you know, you don't necessarily have to get, you know, the best performance fabric for a dining table because you guys will take care of it, right? I'm sure you will. So third on my list, um, it's not necessarily a furniture piece, but I would say it's good to invest in, and that is window treatments. 
Windows are often the focal point of the rooms. Now, what I'm recommending is that you invest in is in good shades. Um, like roller shade, Roman shades, those type of shades that will give you privacy and can block off some of the UV lights that are coming into the room. Now moving on to the fourth item on my list, which is rugs. They're always getting walked on, stuff spills on them, and generally they take a lot of abuse. So you're probably thinking like, why should I even invest in a good rug? Well, reason being why you should invest in a good rug is because if you get a cheap rug, it's made of synthetic material, so it's going to be constantly shedding. It's not going to be durable and withstand with all the heavy and dirt that's coming in. So if you do invest in a good quality rug, then it will withstand to all the wear and abuse it's getting, um, and it'll be softer on the foot. So if you're, you know, walking around barefoot, it's going to feel more nicer um, walking on it than having a cheap rug and it doesn't feel as good you know what I mean okay. so the last thing on my list is light fixtures you're probably thinking like why the hell would I want to invest in good light fixtures light fixtures are just lights like who cares well here is my reason sculptural light fixtures can make an artistic statement in a modern living room or dining room now I'm not saying you should go all out and all the light fixtures in the room what I generally mean is like chandeliers, um, pendants, and places that will really make an impact in a room, like a dining room and a kitchen, especially having pendants over the kitchen island if you have one, and having a good chandelier over the dining table because it really changes the dynamic and mood of the space, so it's well worth the investment. Now moving on to the part where these are the furniture pieces that you can save money on, you don't have to go all out, you don't have to find you know the best quality um, that there is. So starting with number one, which is art. Now I feel like most people are going to recommend you spending and investing in good quality art, but honestly, I think otherwise. And here is my reason why. Art can be found anywhere. You can find a good art piece when you're thrifting, you can find good art pieces when you're on vacation and you see those people painting those lovely um, images. And art can just be made out of anything, you know, like photographs, you can have a picture, you can maybe a piece of fabric and you want to frame it, that could be an artwork, um, or a piece of wallpaper, you want to frame that and make it art. Um, so that that's my reason why I feel like you don't necessarily have to spend so much money on art. So second on my list is accessories. Um, again, it's just one of those things where you don't have to go all out. But if you do find, you know, really unique pieces that, you know, fit your style and your vibe and they're one of a kind, then I would say go for it because that would make you different than everyone else. But if you're just like, I just need some accessories just to fill up the space, then you don't have to go, go all out and get fancy ones. Third on the list is throw pillows. Throw pillows come and go, they're easily replaced. Um, you can get good ones with good designs online or in the stores. That's just one thing that I see that's easily replaced, easily removable, and you don't have to spend so much money. Yeah, so fourth on my list are side tables. I feel like you can get good side tables, um, maybe like on Wayfair or any other different resources that you find um, because you don't have to spend so much money on it. Just make sure that it it's semi-durable and will stand, you know, holding your glass or whatever it is that you need to hold. So last on my list are accent chairs. Now I feel like accent chairs could be part of the list of furniture pieces you should invest in. And the reason is if you have guests, a lot of guests over and you know people are sitting on the accent chairs, then maybe invest in a good one to withstand you know the, the wear and tear. But if you just want a accent chair that's kind of sculpture and makes a statement but no one really sits on it, um, then maybe you know that's where you can kind of save your money and just buy one that fits you know your needs and style. Alright guys, that is the end for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me giving informative tips for which furniture pieces are a good investment and which one you can save money on. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to your girl. Alright guys, I'll catch you on next week's Design Tuesday video with your girl. Bye!